what is up guys it is D's or Gippy here back on the community HDF channel and um, today we're gonna be showing you guys how to uh, use schematica which is like this right here this uh, mod that uh, people use to, like build a lot of bases so yeah um, we did upload a video uh, like how to um, free HDF base and the way you guys were gonna be able to get that was through a schematic download and we didn't show you guys how to get any like schematic mod like so some people probably don't even know what schematica is so today we're gonna be showing you guys what schematic is and exactly how to use it and yeah so basically the basics so that you guys can use some of the tutorials that we will give you guys to show basics so yeah i'm gonna get on uh i download real quick okay to start it off here we're on mods.io which is a very reputable site for i guess minecraft mods or any type of game mods so this link will be down in the description make sure you click this one um this is where you're gonna get your I don't know how to say this Lunatrous core, but and so because like, like basically if you don't have this, your schematic is not going to work for some reason. So make sure you have Forge. Um, there's going to be a lot of tutorials on uh, YouTube on how to get Minecraft Forge. So if you need that, I guess I'll give a link to down in the description. But first, you're going to need this one, but I'll get to that later. This is the straight up schematica download. So whatever version you have which is what I'm doing for 1.7 with 10 to be down here but I'm pretty sure it's the same for every, any other version so if you're on 1.8 you can just click 1.8 right here and it'll pop up but what I'm going to be doing is for, for 1.7 with 10 so you're going to want to download the first one just click this little uh, like arrow thing it's like the download sign and it'll bring you to this page and basically uh, give you the download it says just keep it automatically just keep, keep um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's fine so you're gonna get this and we're gonna keep that there for now and we're gonna go back we're gonna hit go back on the page we go to uh, Lunatrix core whatever it's called scroll down go to 1.7.10 and get the next version so yeah um, once this is downloaded we're gonna go straight from here let me just get this keep uh, we're gonna go straight from here and go to your Windows key or whatever you have uh, I don't know what this can be for Macs go percent app data percent just like that make it bigger and go find your dot minecraft mines at the, all the way at the bottom like like a few up and you're gonna want to find your mods folder and here's where we're gonna well, we can go like this and drag that and drag that and here's where you're gonna um move your mods into the folder see i already have mine here schematica and lunatrix core so i don't need to do it but basically it's gonna drag it like this and just like that but i'm gonna go ahead and delete it because i already have it so yeah once you're done with that um right here as you can tell we've released a base on the channel before so this is where you're gonna when you download the schematic you're gonna open up your schematic folder which is gonna pop up but you have to open your minecraft first so open your minecraft load to the schematicas and everything and then your schematics folder will pop up so you're gonna go in here that one is a base that i'm gonna show you guys later but i'm gonna go to youtube find our channel let's see copy our log in. find our channel um go, go to the base video which is right here uh, we don't even watch it but um yeah we can download the media fire right here let's give this a second here download that's an ad um and that just like that so you're just gonna drop it into your schematics folder and i'll bring you guys back and show you guys how to load in the space now. Okay, so we are back on Minecraft. Um, I actually didn't even need to close my Minecraft or anything. You can just, you can literally throw a schematic in and it'll come up for you just like this. So yeah, I have those two. And basically, once you open up your schematica, you're not gonna know any controls. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to controls and come down to here. So your low schematica is gonna start out as something random. I don't know what it is because I've had schematic for a long time. So I said it's my own thing. So my load schematica is one on my keypad and it suddenly comes up as end. My save schematica is two on keypad. I don't know why it goes down. It's just something. I don't know. It's weird. So basically, how you're gonna want to load the schematica? So we have the if you hit one, if that's what mine set to, of course, that's load base or load schematica. So I'm gonna click right here and hit done. And here's the base from um, from our video. So basically, you could get something called printer that will like allow you to like literally place blocks rapidly, but I'm pretty sure that you need permission to do that on a lot of servers. Well, I'm going to need a block up here, so let me just do this. Usually people are just going to spawn them in right at the ground level, so I need a block right there. Okay, so now that we have a block here, okay. um, once basically that. once you place a block, it's going to like delete like the, like I don't know, invisible layer around it so that it shows that you place it. So like you could get a printer, but I wouldn't recommend it because I'm sure it is bannable I and mean, you could take the risk. but 
it's just a way to like remember your base like from like your i don't know single player world or, or like mind leak or whatever so that you don't have to like keep going back and forth so um if you place a wrong block it's going to turn red it's kind of weird but i mean it's good i guess so yeah you can just build your base like that and it's uh it's way better than like having to go back and forth between your single player world so yeah basically what you want to do is just change your controls to whatever you want and one and load it and it should work just like that so yeah, next is what I'm going to show you guys how to do is to uh, save a schematica. So like say you build a base on MindLink or something and you want to save it to bring it on one of your HDF servers. So this right here is a base built by Damien Boros and he's also on the channel but he hasn't uploaded yet. Um, can't really give this out to you guys yet but we will give it out once Arcane is over with HDF. So basically what you want to going to want to do is get on the very corner of your base so like this is a corner that's adjacent to the corner over there so like it's not the base isn't placed equally but you want to start it right here so what you're going to want to do is hit two and right here if you click red point it'll go on the block that you were standing on so that's all you need to do for this corner next you want to go over uh to your adjacent corner where it's even and you get all the base and you're going to hit two one more time and hit blue point so basically, if you don't move up your Y, it's just going to save one block layer, so it'll only save like the very bottom layer of your base. So you just want to click this, like, it doesn't really matter, you can click it all the way up to 256, which is sky limit, or you can just click it like 20 times. And uh, to do this, it's 85 to 134, so this should get my whole base in. So I click on, and I click, uh, let's say, Chinese Base Damien, which is who built it. You can just click save. And if you come back here and say you log on a different server, which I haven't, um, you can click, I think it's three, actually, no, it's one. So right here, Chinese base Damien, hit done, and there's the base. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, you can also spawn it in on the ground. I don't know why it's not loading, but yeah, take a while. You can also just, if you want to spawn it in right on, right on the surface, you can hit one, base Damien, and it's right there. That's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, description. And I'll, uh, I guess I'll comment back and let you know, help you as best I can. So yeah, hope this uh, helped you guys out and well, and uh, talk to you guys uh, later. I guess. Peace out.